Hello, fifth graders. Today's lesson is lesson 3.8, add decimals. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. The lesson objective is to add decimals using place value. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the Unlock the Problem. Henry recorded the amount of rain that fell over two hours. In the first hour, Henry measured 2.35 centimeters of rain. In the second hour, he measured 1.82 centimeters of rain. Henry estimated that about four centimeters of rain fell in the two hours. What is the total amount of rain that fell? How can you use estimation to decide if your answer is reasonable? So let's underline the questions here because we have a couple of them. It says, what is the total amount of rain that fell? Sorry, let me grab my pen. What is the total amount of rain that fell? And how can we estimate to decide if our answer is reasonable? So it says below we are going to add 2.35 plus 1.82. So we need to line up our numbers and add them just like we would any normal number. So it says we're going to add the hundredths first. The hundredths are in blue. They're the farthest to the right. We have five plus two. Five plus two is seven. So that means we have seven hundredths. Seven fits in that column. We don't have anything to regroup or carry over. Now we're going to add the tens and the ones. The tens are in orange. Three plus eight. 3 plus 8 is 11, so that means that we need to carry that number over. One goes underneath and one goes on top. Now we're going to add the ones. They are in green. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus the one that we carried over is 4. But we're not done yet because we need to make sure that if we started with a decimal, we end with a decimal. We have a decimal right here and right here, which means that it needs to go straight down in between the 4 and the 17. So our sum is going to be 4.17. And underneath, let's do a quick estimate to decide if that is reasonable or not. So 2.35. Let's round that to we look next door, three makes us round down. So let's round that to two. And then we have 1.82. And if I look next door to the one, I see an eight. An eight makes me round up. So that's gonna become a two as well. And two plus two is four. Remember back in our estimate, it says Henry estimated about four centimeters fell. So our estimate is also four. And when we added them together, we got 4.17. So that means that our answer is reasonable. So we know that 4.17 centimeters of rain fell. And since 4.17 is close to our estimate of 4, we know our answer is reasonable. All that we did different from adding a decimal to adding a whole number is we brought the decimal straight down between our numbers. Let's continue on at the top of the next page. It says equivalent decimals. When adding decimals, you can use equivalent decimals, that means equal, to keep the numbers aligned in each place. That means we are going to add zeros in any empty holes so that we have the same number of decimal places. Let's try this in the problem below. First, we're going to estimate. We have 20.4. So if we look at the zero, we look next door and we see a four. So that means we're going to stay the same. So we round to 20. Then we have 13.76. If we underline the three and we look next door, I see a seven. Seven makes me round up. So 13.76 becomes 14. 20 plus 14 gives me 34. So I think it's going to be about 
34. Let's line up our decimals and see if it works out. Now if you notice when I look at 20.4 I don't have any numbers in the thousands place but if I add a zero at the end then I'm not changing the value of my 20. I'm just adding a zero to keep the place. So now instead of adding nothing plus six, I can add zero plus six. And we know that zero plus six is six. So all we did different is fill in a hole with a zero, but nothing changed in the value. Let's continue adding. We have four plus seven, that equals 11. And we learned that we regroup decimals just like a regular number. So one goes underneath and one goes on top. Then we need to add our ones place. So three plus zero is three plus one is four. Nothing to carry over, so we continue on. Two plus one is three. But we know that this number is not 3,416 because there's a decimal here that we need to write. So we know that our number is 34.16, which is reasonable because our estimate was 34. So we know we're on the right track. So 20 plus 20.40 plus 13.76 is 34.16. We know that our answer is reasonable because it is close to our estimate. Awesome job so far. Time for your lesson activity. Today's lesson activity has two questions. You are solving two decimal addition problems. The decimals are already lined up by their place value. All you need to do is add. Remember that this work needs to go in your math notebook and there will be questions about it on your Google quiz. Great job so far, fifth graders.